Hi, Christine here of yesnomads.com and today Paul and I were here at the Old Town Square in Prague and the Old Town Square it has different types of architecture, Renaissance, Gothic and Baroque and you can see down here there are some stores and I will explain to you some buildings here And in the center of the square you can see this in the center of the square you can see this memorial of Jan Hus. He was a Czech priest and reformer and he was highly influenced by an Englishman. The Englishman was called John Wycliffe and he was also a reformer and he was one of the first ones who translated the Bible into English language. And he believed that the church had too much power at the time and so he highly influenced Jan Hus and Jan Hus also didn't like that the church had such a big power over the people and he also believed that they should understand him so he preached to them in Czech and in German language and obviously the church didn't like that they only preached at the time in Latin and they didn't like that they didn't have that he didn't want to take away power of them. So they prosecuted him in 1415 in Constance in Germany and they burned him at stake and then they threw his ashes into the River Rhine. So this is the St. Nicholas Church and it was built by the architect Kilian Ignaz Dinsenhofer. He built it between 1732 and 1735 it's a baroque style church and during its life it had different kind of uses like in 1787 it turned into a warehouse later it was used for military concerts and around 1870 to 1914 it was used by the russian orthodox church and in 1920 it was taken over again by a czech church it's actually the Husseith church so it had different kind of purposes during its life. The church behind me is the Church of Our Lady before Tin. It was founded by traders in the 14th century. And Tin means something from an old German Ungeld, something about taxes. It was, there was a court, there's a courtyard. The, and apparently they were charging taxes and that sort of funded the building of the church. During the 30 year war, the, um, the Czech Protestants and the aristocrats, they fought against the uh, Habsburg family and against the Catholics. And as you can see these crosses here on the square, they commemorate a date when in 1621, when the, the Protestants, they lost actually the, they lost the, the fight against the Catholics. And so in 1621, the, they, prosecuted the, tw the 27 ringleaders of this fight because they executed them here on the square and they put these crosses into the stones. So this behind me is the town hall. It was built in 1338 and the hall tower was added in 1364. In the original city hall it was destroyed by fire in 1399 and it was rebuilt in 1407 and in May 1945, so during the war, um, there were fights and going on and during, these, during the war, during these heavy fights, the north and east wing, they were destroyed and that's why this building is sort of chopped off. Now we're going around the corner to show you the astronomical clock. We are here now on the other side of the town hall and you here can see the astronomical clock. So this medieval clock, it was built in 1410 by Nicholas of Cardan and it was probably designed by his master Jan Sindel. And this clock, it shows five types of time, like the one here with the black background with the numbers from 1 to 24 on. This type of time, that's the old Czech time or also called Italian time. That's the time where the first hour starts from sunset. So that's the one with the black background you can see here. Underneath the main clock you can see another dial and that dial was added afterwards 
and it's beautifully painted. You can see inside there is the old sign of Prague and around it you can see the 12 signs of Zodiac and then you can see the next pictures around it are the 12 months. So these pictures, they are painted for every month of the year. There is a little picture sh telling you a little story. And around it at the outer edges are 365 names which represent the name day. So because in, che in the Czech Republic the name day is being celebrated. So for each day of the year you have a name here on the dial. Most visitors come to the astronomical clock on the hour because then you can see what's happening right now. The skeleton down there that represents death, it rings its bell on the hour and then the windows with these crosses on, they open up and you can see these wooden apostles, they are revolving behind the window and also these other figures like the Turkish, that's the one here next to death he is shaking his head, he represents entertainment and on the other side you can see Vanity, the guy who is looking in the mirror, he represents Vanity and next to him is the miser, that's the guy with the money bag so these little four figures they represent was what was despised at the time when the clock was made if you would like to see this, then you can see that at the full hour, apparently between 9 a.m. and 9 p.m. But if you just want to take some photos, then I advise you not to go there on the full hour. It's better when there's less people there. And so this ends the footage from the Old Town Square. You can see our other videos of Prague and other countries around the world on our website, yesnomats.com. So bye for now.